Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today, covering today many, many important informations to Giga Berlin, Giga Austin, and the battery cells, as well as well as some nice pictures from the report that is published. So stay tuned. If you're new here, do consider subscribing and we will dive into the numbers right now. So really important and what I am really stunned about is the gross margin of 28.4% per, uh, that is really nice and for the entire company with the energy business and everything else together we are looking at 24% so that is really really good. Furthermore the regulatory credits went down but despite going down to 354 million we do see a really nice profit. Um, so we do have a free cash flow of 619 million, cash on hand 16.2 billion, being down as Tesla is, has um, closed uh, debt uh, by 1.6 billion. So they did the debt repayment. So this is the reason why cash on hand went a bit, off, a bit down. But what I find really great, $12 billion of revenue. So it is really accelerating here really nicely. Looking at Gigafactor Berlin paint shop. So new pictures here, how it looks inside. And I must say, as I mentioned to you many, many times on this channel, yes, Giga Berlin was supposed to open um, already this summer. But don't forget that despite the delay, you have everything installed inside so this is really good and we could see a massive fa really fast ramp up once everything is ready then we have the market share for tesla vehicles in the us europe and china and if someone is going to tell me that europe is really competitive you see the market share is increasing further ahead so this despite not having giga berlin working yet China as well and this is for the entire market not only the electric market when we talk about these structural battery cells so um, this entire structure that is supposed to be happening with the new Model Ys and the Cybertruck and uh, maybe in the future as well than the Model 3 at some point um, we have to look at the battery cells so what um, Elon said regarding um, Giga Berlin is that they are um, hoping to have the structural battery uh, 4680 cells ready by the end of the year. Um, furthermore, they have a backup plan for the uh, 2170 cells. Um, those will be used by any case if the new battery cells are not ready. Um, for the battery cells itself, it, it looks like they are still having like around 10% to work on. He said it is not science, it is more like technology questions that they have to solve or issues they have to solve. Um, the opinions about if that is concerning or not really dive to the right and the left. There are many opinions about these um, statements regarding the batteries. Please let me know what you think. If we have to be concerned or not, I would really like to know your opinion down below in the comment section. So for the 4680s, uh, 4680 cells production, um, they have done some crash tests. And um, as I said, they are working on the final um, issues to solve. Um, despite that, he is still expecting 100 gigawatt hours production rate by 2022 worldwide. And yeah, so actually it looks all brilliant. Um, despite Giga Berlin being a bit uh, delayed, as we all know, the Model Y standard range will come from China. And for all the people in Europe, the Model 3 is not coming from Fremont anymore. For the people from the US, my personal opinion is that the Model 3 demand um, is so high in the US that they are shifting to China. So looking at Texas, we have some stunning pictures inside here from the stamping press. I'm really, I'm really excited to see that um, because we have seen this building for a long time closed and we were, um, couldn't see what was happening inside. So that is some really nice pictures here, um, but it's not the only one. It's getting even better with the Gigafactory Texas Model Y Body Shop. So looking at the right side you see as well more installations more stuff installed so 
it looks pretty pretty good and i must honestly say that i do expect that october we could see some model y production and um he also mentioned for austin as we're looking at here um he also mentioned that the model y production will come first not the cyber truck as rumors were talking about the cyber truck will have a lot of challenges as he said the cyber truck um, will go into a beta uh, version production or beta production by the end of the year i think real production volume we will see by 2022 first quarter but again he said new car big car it's a pickup truck they haven't done that before so this um, compared to the model y um, the model y will be ramped up first and afterwards the cyber truck comes and um, so again everything the bottleneck here is again the battery cells so we really have to hope that they are able to solve these last issues um, and then we can start seeing a battery cell production here in austin as they're closing the walls here um, the wall panels are installed already and we are still in july so maybe by the end of this month they are able to finish this entire side um, to the front and then they can do more work inside that building so everything needs to be focused now on the battery cell production side that is my personal opinion because that is where the bottleneck is we need enough batteries um, by the way for the mega packs they are sold out till la next year end of 2022 and for the power walls they have an amazing demand here um Elon Musk is even talking about a 1 million uh, unit um, production at some point so um yeah I mean energy business is growing massively so we should um, have an eye on that for the third and fourth quarter um it's still going quietly in the background because the car business is making the profits right now and the I do expect that the energy business will get much better and with better margins by time, especially when um, the batteries are getting cheaper and cheaper. So this is all going to come into effect. We do know that last year for the energy business, Tesla didn't do too much money. I mean, they made revenue, but the profit side wasn't as good. So I do expect that to be better in this year and latest next year, it will be a really a profit driver here. So um, we shouldn't um, underestimate that. Um, next, we will look into China. So what we are looking into China is what is the position of the Giga Shanghai now in the company? And it gets more and more uh, export hub. And what I mean by export hub, it is exporting to Australia, Japan and other countries in Asia furthermore we do have the experts to europe and this is like really important so as i mentioned in the beginning on the screen with the market share for europe i can just repeat the market share of the model 3 because nothing else is sold over there is increasing slightly is not decreasing despite the fact that vw and all the other companies are really pushing evs out there but despite that, Tesla is able to keep up with the market share, um, is able to still grow despite not having Giga Berlin working yet. So we have to be really excited for 2022 when the production is ramping up massively at Grünheide. And then we can see like a market share never seen before. Um, for now, the Giga Shanghai will be the major export hub to bring all those cars to europe if you did enjoy my video if you do like my content do consider subscribing and i wish you a wonderful day take care guys